here for this week's video. I had a couple of our older Girls Pact members record reasons of why they love Girls Pact, what Girls Pact means to them, and what they're up to. So enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Karen, um, and I've been a part of Girls Pact ever since I was in high school. Um, I went to Culver City High School, and um, that was like about like four years ago, maybe. Um, and I joined um, when I was either in like either my sophomore year or like my junior year. Um, I don't exactly remember, um, but I just remember like finding out about Girls Pact uh, because I saw a flyer um, on my bath on the bathroom stall, and I just remember like them advertising like a topic that um, I was interested in. Um, Either, it was either about like relationships or friendships or something like that but i don't exactly remember but i just remember telling my friend like let's go check them out like see what they're about um and i remember the meetings were like on fridays <laughs> during lunch um and so we went and i just loved like how honest and easygoing the conversations were um and like how we were like all kind of offering each other advice like we were sitting in a circle and we were just like talking about like problems that like everyone goes through you know as high schoolers or like as older young adults um and yeah so that's how i like really you know kind of liked <laughs> girls packed and i just kind of stayed with them um and my best memory from girls packed i have so many but um i would definitely have to say like maybe like meeting new people and just kind of like all coming together um from like different schools and just kind of like bonding over like similar things that we like go through um or like just kind of like offering each other like advice um which i thought was like really nice um but i think that it's like pretty like cool that we all kind of had that like common that similarity like that was girls packed which kind of like brought us all together so i thought that was pretty nice um but also like my best memory would be um going to queen mary um in long beach like over um halloween like during the halloween season um and just going like all the girls and just kind of like bonding laughing uh screaming it was like it was such a fun time um but i remember that was like our prize for like um for like boothing at the abbot kinney fair um so yeah so that was like really that was a really like nice experience to kind of talk with everyone and just kind of you know kind of bond outside of like the girls pack space um and the best thing i took away from girls pack would be um kind of being learning how to be affirmative with like our words when we're talking to other people um just kind of like knowing how to be honest with our feelings in order to be honest with, our, with others which i thought which was like a big takeaway for me um, and also like how not to be so quick to say sorry all the time um, where we're kind of like self-blaming ourselves really quickly um, I know for me like I'm really quick to like say sorry like oh sorry you know like I didn't mean to do that or something like that but I really learned like how to like you know kind of take a step back kind of like analyze the situation before I kind of use my words um, so that was really helpful for me <laughs> um, and so currently <laughs> what i'm doing um i'm going to school i go to uci uh which is the university of california irvine um i'm double majoring in psychology and education um and i'm graduating this june <laughs> 2021 uh which is really exciting but then also at the same time really scary just because i'll be going off into like the real world and just kind of knowing what's right for me um, but I'm really excited because I'll know that like my hard work has really like paid off um, These past four years have really like gone by so quickly and I've really enjoyed like every second of it um, All the ups and downs <laughs> um, Like I learned something through like every experience that I had in college um, And I love like my, the campus that I chose and everything because I really got to meet like so many people like through my job through um, classes through organizations that I joined um, and like my closest friend like I got to meet her there so I think like that was like a really big plus um, and so with this I'm really hoping to become a teacher for low-income kids and really be that outlet of support um, because I know that these kids don't have 
that support that they need from teachers that like proper motivation that they need from teachers so i really want to be like that help and just that that motivation that they know that they can succeed in school like despite their background despite their cultural background despite them being like a minority um and anything like that so i just really want to be that support for kids and families to feel comfortable coming to me um with anything i guess <laughs> um uh, but for now after i graduate i'm going to take a gap year to really uh get a job and just kind of like take a break from school just because it's been really hard to kind of juggle school and everything um but you know it's it like it, it it's all good <laughs> so uh so yeah i'm gonna take a gap year i'm gonna research my grad schools like really well and then i'm gonna apply for grad school um in the upcoming year um uh, to be a teacher <laughs> um so yeah so that's it for me um thank you <laughs> hi guys so my name is maria um, i'm 21 years old i'm currently not in school at the moment but i do want to go back i do want to get my degree in early childhood education um i was going to smc and i think i'm gonna continue going there um I did work with kids for two summers in my high school year and I absolutely loved it which is why I decided you know what why don't I just do it for like my lifetime um I've been with girls pags for a couple years I can't remember exactly how much like exactly but I knew I know it's been a while and it feels like forever but it's like a good forever I've gotten a family a family that I know I have for life um because you know they're always there for you and you might think no one's there for you but we have girls pack girls pack is always here for for myself for everyone even if you're not in girls pack they're there for you like we're all here for each other which is perfect and i love that um they're my family they're my sisters my brothers they're totally my family they're everything to me um things that i've learned from girls pack is to not rush things at all let everything take its time because if you rush things um with like a person a relationship it's like you don't really know that person you don't know exactly if you can't trust them if um they're good for you if it's gonna be healthy or not so um yeah i like to take my time not rush things and i've honestly learned that because of cost pact and another thing that i've learned i've learned um to love and to respect myself because that's important um for someone i and i was younger growing up i didn't do that for myself but when i go with the ghost pack like they taught me like um uh, that you need to love respect yourself because if you don't do it for yourself how do you expect other people to do it for you and it's like that's pretty much how i see it as um so yeah oh and then also they also showed me um how to stay in a healthy relationship um they should they they like told me like what what steps you need to take and what you need to do in order to have a healthy relationship and to keep it and um and i'm really useful for that i'm really happy for that just because i am in a relationship um that i was in for six years and the advice that they give me i use in my relationship and honestly i could say i'm it's a really healthy relationship um so i'm really thankful for ghost pack for that um my favorite memory from ghost pack it's kind of hard because i do have multiple but one that honestly very stuck out to me was when we went to the museum of broken relationships um it stuck out to me because we all went as a group and um in the museum there's stories from other other people like their perspectives and um they do that so that if someone's in their shoes um they wanted to know like it will get better they wanted to give their advice and show, share their stories with people because sharing your story it honestly helps many people without even knowing it helps a lot of people and all of us who went including myself like we all got different advice different views from stories and not everyone like thought the same thing from a story and that's fine and um, that's what made it perfect because we at the end of the day like we all talked about what we thought about the stories and we all like talked about it. um i found out about ghost pact because of michelle 
Um, she did go to a program that I went to um, when I was younger and um, she told me about it as I got older um, and I decided why not give it a shot and ever since I gave it a shot I've been so into it and I love it I'm so glad I've joined and yeah <laughs> um what have I been up to I've been up to nothing really just quarantining you know staying home trying to stay safe from this whole pandemic um but i am going to start a new job within the next couple of days so i'm very excited about that and then um i did say that when i started a job i am going to try to lose my weight that i've gained um so i'm going to start working out hopefully i do you know get myself up in the morning and go run or something because i honestly prefer running than going to the gym that's just me i don't know but Hopefully I can, you know, I can do it. I can work on it. Hi everyone. My name is Destiny Padilla. I am 20 years old, soon to be 21. And I've been a part of Girls Pact for, I want to say, maybe like five years, more than five years. So I am a third year college student at um, Cal State Long Beach. And I've been a part of PAC since I was, I think, like 10th or 11th grade. Um, so you guys can do the math. Um, I actually got into Girls Pact accidentally. So I used to go to um, one of my favorite teachers' class during lunch sometimes um, to eat lunch with my friends in her classroom because she was really chill. And one of the um, days that we decided to have lunch, Girls Pact was actually meeting in that same room and I had no idea about Pact. So we were sitting in the back of the class, like minding our own business, talking. And then I like was kind of eavesdropping in a way um, into Michelle's like conversation with um, the members who were there, like of the group. And honestly, I don't remember what they were talking about, but it just seemed so like intriguing i guess like i was attracted to what they were talking about so michelle was nice enough to um bring us into the conversation so ever since that day i just just kept going to like the weekly meeting so i really enjoyed that um and then something that pact has taught me and that i will forever keep with me for the rest of my life is communication i think that was one of the biggest I would say like themes and um yeah like just one of the biggest things I took away from it or I'm still taking away actually because I'm still a part of Pact and you know every time I go I just I keep learning something new or I can uh change some of my communication habits and things like that and um in high school I think I was more of the go with the flow and like do things without thinking of myself first and not really thinking of the I guess you could say consequences behind some of my actions that seemed so like whatever um so an example was when I was talking to this guy we had like talked and dated and then we stopped talking and then we were talking again but it was nothing serious at least on my end and when we hung out one time, I could sense that he felt something that I didn't. And when we were done hanging out, um, I was saying bye. And I could feel that he was leaning in for a kiss. And the old me would have been like, you know, it's just a kiss. Like, just kiss him, you know, because it doesn't mean anything. But then with Pact, you know, really taught me like those those things actually do matter and in that moment i don't know i guess like michelle just came into my head and i was like whoa i was like like that's not happening i was like we're cool but you know like that's not the direction i want to go into and so that was probably like one of the biggest moments in my life because i actually stood up for myself and i was actually talking it was just crazy like in that moment i realized how much pact really impacted me um, in the sense of being more self-aware and as you guys can see I'm still in my work uniform I just came from work and I'm in my car <laughs> so sorry 
But um, like I said, I'm a third year college student at Cal State Long Beach. I'm majoring in biochemistry, hoping to eventually go into the medical field. I've always wanted to be something within the medical field. I wanted originally to be an anesthesiologist, but right now I'm still kind of deciding. I still am trying to pursue it, but of course, like if that doesn't fall through, I'm, I still want to remain within the medical field. And um, yeah, right now I haven't been working like throughout this whole pandemic, um, but I recently just got a job as a COVID testing site assistant. Um, so that's what's been keeping me busy so far for this month. Um, but yeah, soon I'm hopefully going to get my phlebotomy license and start doing that um, and just progressing my medical experience so then I am ready for my ultimate career. But yeah, it was nice um, talking to all you guys. Bye!